Friends, in this video, we're going to have a look on how to create a day table, but not on a daily basis, but instead actually look on a monthly basis. So if that's something you've been looking for, this video is for you. So perhaps you're budgeting on a monthly level. Perhaps you actually need to generate a series that's every single month for your budgeting or forecasting. No matter the purpose, if you want to create a day table on a monthly basis, I'm going to show you a fun method to do this. We're not going to approach this by taking a daily level one and filtering that down to the end of the month. That's one approach. We're actually going to look at a more efficient one using list generate. Let's, let's have a look. So the setup I have right now is I put the day of today here, then the start date and my ending date is the end of the year based on the day of today. So we're going to be using the start date and end date as variables. So how can you actually create your date series that gets you your monthly date table? Well, to get your foundation ready, we can start with an empty step here and we're going to work with list generate. And list generate allows you to generate a list or create a list of values based on a condition. And in each step, it's going to provide uh, a certain action to get to that next step. So let's say, we're starting out with uh, the start date. So our st uh, starting value is the start date. Then we're going to have this, uh, we're gonna create a list for as long as this start date is uh, smaller or equal to the end date. That's the condition for uh, to run as long as the condition is. That's what I'll write. Now, what do we do need to do in each of the steps to make sure this is a monthly calendar? We could go for something like each underscore. And if you would do this on a daily basis, you would write date punt at days, date at days. And then you'd say like, okay, I'm going to write a single day. There we go. So what this does is it picks the starting date which is on the screen right here, the 1st of uh, January, 2022, that's last year. And for as long as the, the value is smaller or equal to the end date, which is the end of 2023, is gonna add a single step. Now you can be flexible and make this monthly. The only change you make is you go to the third argument and instead you'll write dates at months. There we go, uh, with an S. And as you can see now, it now does the date dot add months to add this. Now, something you might be looking out for is let's say we want to have the end of the month here. It's going to be a little bit extra tricky because you, uh, as you can see, it now says the first of each of the months. Now, if you want to change that, there is a fourth argument in list generate that first takes, uh, let, lets the uh, function generate the list and then it allows you to perform an additional action on that list which is perfect for what we're looking for. So you can add another comma and go to the next argument and write each date end of the month. And then we simply perform that on all the underlying values, which is what the underscore references. Now, if I press okay, you'll find that you have a list here with all of the dates, taking steps of a single month and always showing the end of the month until you reach the end of 2023. Now, once you have that, all that's left is, first of all, to transfer this into a table. So if that went too quick, you go to the transform tab, click on to table, press OK. Now you have a column name, which is not what we want to have It's column one, and we're missing a data type. But if you grab this third argument, you could say type table. You open your curly brackets and we're going to call this column date, which is a date type. And you close your, your, your square brackets. And now this single step transformed your list of dates into a table column. And from here, you can very easily expand and say like, I want to have a year column. And on top of that, I want to have a month number. And maybe you want to have a month name as well, et cetera, et cetera. The clue for this is list generate easily allows you to create a monthly date series. Now, I hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And for any suggestions on these kind of calculations, let me know in the comments and then I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.
Čau. Thank you.